When we used to talk about how AI imitates painting styles, it was more like, oh, so we get this picture, train an AI, and make this to have a similar style to that picture. But what we are talking about today is way beyond that level of simplicity. How previous AI research papers approach this problem was always about how they can manipulate these image pixels to get them to imitate real life brush patterns, painting patterns, or illustration strokes. But that is always pretty difficult to achieve because if you generalize a kind of style distortion like how the oil paint brushes are always thick and heavy, it may still be difficult to translate that into another scenery or sky where it would just look unnatural and odd. But how this new AI research paper generated their answer to this problem is rather simple yet it was never properly used. Okay let's think logically for a second. If us humans want to produce a portrait artwork like the Mona Lisa but in oil paint, how would we do it? How would you do it? A starts by drawing line by line, stroke by stroke. B. Distort the scene with max level light magic and take a photo of it. If you ever thought about choosing B, then you better follow me on Twitter as your punishment. But yes, exactly, we draw stroke by stroke to create an artwork. It always has been. So how should artificial intelligence, machines that are programmed to simulate human intelligence, supposed to produce a realistic oil painting of Mona Lisa? It makes a lot of sense drawing it stroke by stroke instead of distorting the pixels to look like an oil painting, right? So it's just like how Marcus did it but it's just copying a pre-existing artwork instead. While I am still as impressed as that old guy back there because it looks way more realistic and good now. But what is on the canvas that I am so impressed about? Let me show you. This AI is called Stylized Neural Painting and it is able to generate styles ranging from oil paintings, marker pen styled painting, 8-bit artwork to watercolor painting of any input of your choice. The only downside to this is that the strokes are limited to how hardcore your GPU can run. So from the official demo, you can see some pretty great renders of stylized artworks. To mix in some of my results, they all look rather quirky and I think it's a really spectacular side that I've always wanted to see. But hey, there's an even bigger surprise to this AI. Since this AI is designed to formulate strokes and predict how it can match the input image, it uses this method called parameter searching that aims to maximize the similarity between the input image and the ongoing canvas that the AI is painting on. So not only can this AI create real world like textures and color transitions of these pictures, but it can also do it live. Yes, live. So today my title of the video actually meant what it was supposed to mean. It can draw. And it can show you how the strokes are being overlapped and creating the final result that is similar to what image you chose as the reference. You are able to see how different styles start differently on the canvas. 8-bit art starts with large squares and slowly builds on top of the squares. The oil painting starts off with a few large brushes and slowly cover the entire canvas with smaller strokes to create the details. The marker pen style starts with some wild solid shapes that looks like it'll produce some kind of geometrical art but slowly creating more details by adding more curves and filling more colors on top of the canvas. And most importantly, there is also this style transfer option where you can transfer one image's style to another. I wouldn't say the technique is perfect, but I think that this still gives a pretty solid result for transferring styles compared to older techniques. Everything just looks fascinating. I think this is why I am in love with AI and this is definitely worth the time of constantly digging through papers to find the newest code that I can share with you all. And a few more papers down the line, this technique can probably be refined to produce really good paintings from just images and have clear details which this AI still cannot achieve. There is more info in the official documentation so you can check it out from the project page if you want to learn more about the technical aspects of this AI's architecture. I'll also link an installation tutorial down in the description if you want to run it yourself or if you want to run it online, I'll link the collab down in the description too. And this video is sponsored 
by Infinite Red. Infinite Red Consulting handles your mobile, web, and AI needs. If you are looking for someone to build your app, visit with a link down in the description. If you have any questions, join my Discord channel and you can easily seek help there on the tech support channel. Big shout out to Mark Schwinn and many other patrons that support me on Patreon. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one.